This video is provided by Carrier Enterprise, your complete HVAC distributor. Servicing on HVAC equipment should only be performed by licensed HVAC contractors. Now let's look at the diagnostics procedure for checking a reversing valve. Basically what we're looking for is did the slide make it 100% either to the left or right. The first thing we need to determine is the refrigerant flow. What are my two common lines? For this example we'll be using air conditioning. So we're coming back through this suction or vapor line. Refrigerant travels into the reversing valve comes through the reversing valve, out of the reversing valve, back to the accumulator. So th these two lines would be cool to cold. This line would be carrying hot gas to the condenser cool. So that's obviously going to be a lot warmer. What we're looking for is a temperature differential of less than 5 degrees between the two common suctions. Now a word of caution, a lot of you will be tempted to use an infrared and infrared is dependent upon reflection and proximity to the pipe for an accurate reading. Therefore, it is recommended that you use a thermal couple type device. So after steady state running approximately 10 minutes, we want to measure as close to the valve as we can the temperature differential between line A and line B. We're looking to get something less than 5 degrees. Anything more than 5 degrees is suspect that the valve has not seated and further investigation would be needed. Okay, if your two common lines have a temperature differential less than 5 degrees, uh, we need to check the discharge side. To do that, we're going to check the hot gas line at the top of the valve, measure that temperature, and then we'll measure the outlet of the reversing valve here. Once again, looking for the same 5 degrees or less temperature differential. If on all four combinations you have less than 5 degrees, chances are that the reversing valve is not the issue and we need to start looking elsewhere. If we have a temperature differential greater than 5 degrees, either on the common suctions, and now we're talking air conditioning, or the discharge, the reversing valve needs to be replaced. Now, replacing a reversing valve uh, can be somewhat tricky, and they are very, very, very heat sensitive. The easiest and most best way to do this is to cut the reversing valve out. Now, I would typically sweat, unsweat the hot gas line, and then I would cut at the closest place in the system away from the valve where that I could easily couple and braze those connections. One last detail, scribe each of the three outlet pipes with a mark so that when you bench build this before you put it back into the unit, you have a reference point as to the angle and which the pipe should be in. This video was brought to you by Carrier Enterprise, your complete HVAC distributor. We carry a full line of Carrier, Bryant, and Payne equipment. For more information or to find a location near you, please visit CarrierEnterprise.com.